out. What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. This is my buddy, Mike Tramco. He and his daughter have an epic YouTube channel called Real Cool Adventures, and he's just one of my really good friends. We've done some amazing videos together. I've been at home working my butt off. We've been out of the ranch, we've been at the house, we've been working so hard. He just called me and said, hey man, let's go fishing. It's overcast, it's windy, it's not ideal fishing conditions. What are we after? A bullseye snakehead fish. A bullseye snakehead yep, they fish. They have a red dot on their tail like a bullseye. The cool thing about this is, I've never seen one, I've never caught one. I know they're prolific down here. The key is they're very, very uh, savvy. They have great eyesight, so we're trying to wear camouflage, stay low, walk very softly, and see They've what happens. Incredible eyesight. Incredible eyesight. Incredible. We're using little frogs. These fish are highly invasive and they're very destructive because they eat everything. Oh, I just got bit. I got bit. Oh, I got smoked right there. He ate the... He ate the worm right off. I'm gonna throw the frog at him. I mean, smoked it. No way! That's my first snake head! Are you kidding me? He ate that frog! Look at that! Dude! That's why they call it the bullseye. Bullseye snake head. Are you kidding me? Annihilated that frog. That's my first one I've ever seen. That is so awesome. Hey. He feels nice and meaty. He's got to be better than a mudfish. I'm going to try to eat him. I don't even know if this is a big one or a small one or what. Look at that. Frog. I think we should eat them. Yeah. We're gonna get him this time. The question is, can I get him out of that? Oh my god, this is the craziest fishing I've ever done in my life. It's like overcast and my glasses aren't working the way they should. You couldn't have walked down there and put that thing any better. There he is. Got him. Got him. Yes. Oh, it's a nice one too. I don't think it's a snakehead. 
It's a largemouth bass, bro. That's a largemouth bass. Look at me. <laughs> we caught a big old bass. Are you kidding me? Do you have a bucket? Yeah. Get a bucket. We'll put him in the pond. Oh, bro, I'll put him in the pond. I just redid the pond at my house, and you are going to have a new home, buddy. Yeah, I told you I needed some exercise. This wasn't All what right. I was thinking. So it's spring right now and everything's hatching. And the best way to locate these are to find the little hatchlings. Anything that's hatching. A little baby duck, a coot, purple gallinule, anything, any little baby bird that's chirping along the shore is like chum for these bullseye snakehead. Oh, he's see him. Got him, got him, got him. Are you kidding me? Look at the size of this thing. Yes. He's huge. Are you kidding me? Hold this. Look at that. Look at that. Smoke that rug. Dude, he's got a bunch of bullseyes. Nice job. Are you are you kidding me? Woo! Dude. I didn't think you were gonna land them much, so that's why I didn't want you to cast in here because they're so hard to get out of this brush. He's going. What an awesome So when you snorkel with fish. them, you see that eye right there? When you snorkel with them, they'll come up and flash that in your face. So you think that's the front side of it to intimidate you. And they'll actually turn their body around and try to bite you. Mm! Bro, he's got like teeth in the back of his jaw. I'm telling you, cut your finger off. You're going on ice, Jack. And he came up and slapped me. They're getting bigger. It's going down right now. All right, so that one is in the box. Could you imagine, like, if these things did have big fangs, they would be ruthless. I mean, oh my gosh. That was such an amazing fish. One of the coolest fish I've ever caught. Oh, sick. This is a fish right here, y'all. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this fish. Look at him running down the bank. He's got me in all this weeds. Look at him, look at him. Oh no. Oh, oh. I got a problem with the big ones. This is the toughest part right here. He's right here, he's rolling. That's a thick one. That's what we want. Oh, 
are you? Woo! <laughs> Look yeah, at baby. this fish, man. <laughs> Look. Hey, I got to give a huge shout out to my boy Winston Tucker. You stand behind my little brother, Blue Gabe. You're sponsoring his channel. I gotta love this old salt favorite rod and reel. Really great setup and um, what an amazing fish. What an amazing, whoa buddy, stay right there. I'm away from that canal bank because he will get in that water somehow. Whoa, they he can, like jumps. He can run on land. I mean, you could sign him up for the Olympics. That's Look at that. Long one. Look at where, look where the frog is. And then if you see in the back of his throat, there are giant teeth that are like, like they're like grippers, crushers, because these things eat everything. It doesn't matter. Fish, frogs, alligators, snakes. It doesn't matter. If this sucker can grab a hold of it, it's eating it. What an amazing, amazing day. These are the first three snakeheads I've ever caught in my life. And I got a bass to take home to Ari and Emma. This was the best afternoon I've had in a long time. This guy never fails. We've done so many fun videos together. The sand flea, the iguana, bow fishing, you Star name fish, it. Clown fish, clown night fish. I mean, we've done so many great videos together. I will put links in the description below of other videos I've done with him, but please, please do me a favor. Go check out his channel. It's called Real Cool Adventures. Thank you. Thank you. Keep your germs off me, dog. Oh, social, social distancing. distancing. <laughs> Six feet, okay? No closer. We gotta get this fish out of here. Come here, Em. Come here, girls. Okay, he's in here. I'm gonna try to catch him, okay? Look at that fish. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. No way, Jose. Come on. Okay, y'all. Hopefully he likes it in here. All right, what do you want to do, Mom? I see him. Whoa. I see him. Oh, there he goes. He's going to the deep end. Let him go. He's on the deep end. Give it. Hey, high five. Oh, nope. I want another one. High five. I want another one. She gave me high five. You want another one? Yeah. Look at that big old fish. Are you kidding me? Okay, sit right here. Daddy's gonna clean up, okay? All right. So you guys, I'm gonna clean this rascal and then I'm gonna cook him up, but I'm not making a huge dinner because he looks way too much like a mud fish for me to plan. You know what he looks like? He looks like a cobia. Hold on, baby. Emma, do you want some fish? Yeah. Yeah? I can't see the tail. Dad, I can't see the tail. Yeah? Yeah. The meat is like very white. <laughs> Now, I've got to admit, just looking at it right off the bat, it looks amazing. It, it kind of looks like a mudfish or a bowfin. So I was, I was very skeptical that it was going to be good to eat. But look at that. How beautiful is that? Beautiful black diamonds on it. Just uh, an actual gorgeous, gorgeous fish. That was my first time ever even seeing a snakehead, most less filleting it. Now, we're gonna cook it. 
I like taking nice pieces and making portions. That's a little bit thicker, so you could come in here like that, butterfly, and now that would be a portion. There you go. That's all good, good stuff. We're just gonna go a little bit of salt and pepper. We're not even doing any Everglades because I really wanna taste this fish in its unique flavor. I've got just a little bit of vegetable oil in there. Take a few pats of butter, toss that in there. Let that start coming down. Check this out, look at that. Slice up one clove of garlic and just let that happen to fall in love right in there. Then we'll take one little piece of lemon. Nice fresh lemon. And let it cook. Ooh, look at how nice that looks. That's gonna be good. I mean, that is like the perfect golden brown Aria, what are you doing? You're having a picnic. It looks like you're making a mess. Honey, come here for a second. The girls are making you a picnic. They're making you a picnic here. They told me to go on their to wait here. They're waiting to meet. Here, let me try. This is our little carnivore right here. Do you like it, Emma? So I put no seasoning on. No. Yeah, you just had to have. No, I didn't. I put a little uh, butter, lemon, salt, and pepper. That's it. Mm. Lemon is what it is. It's actually very enjoyable. I can tell you right now. Anytime you see your child eating more and more and more, you know it's good. Mm -hmm. Mudfish was the worst fish I've ever eaten in my life. This is amazingly good, like I top like 10. I like mudfish. No, you don't want mudfish. Look at that. Yeah. Just so white. I like mud, mudfish. That you like all, mudfish? This isn't mudfish, Emma. Winner, winner. We just ate a snakehead for dinner. This is good stuff. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. This was absolutely fantastic. But that's all I got for you tonight. Emma, are you gonna say it? Take care. God bless. Say we gone. We gone.